Hello everyone, it's fun to give you a brand new Christmas movie net today and it is Christmas Chronicles 2. Um, I don't know why it's called Christmas Chronicles 2 because actually in the movie, when they start the movie, it's called Part 2. So why did they call it Part 2 actually as the name? I don't know. Uh, this again stars Kurt Russell as Santa. We have uh, Goldie Horn, who is actually his real world wife playing Mrs. Claus. Um, who was briefly in it as a kind of cameo in the first film right at the end. We have um, Jada um, Lewis back as Teddy Pierce, Derby Camp back as K Katie Pierce, and we have a new boy um, played by Jazar Bruno, I presume I'm going to butcher his name, playing Jack Tyrus Gibson, um, plays Bob, the love interest of, of the Pierce's mother, so um, Jack is um, Bob's uh, little boy whose mum's died, so they're kind of in the same boat. You know, with their dad dying and their mum dying, so kind of a symmetry type of thing, which is obvious. Um, we also have um, uh, Julian Dennison playing Buznickel, who is a um, a person from history who is um, kind of the um, rival or interest of Santa. So, like. Is his biggest helper and um, who is designed off Santa kind of in history. So, in this story, Busnickel is an elf who kind of like wants attention from Santa and decides that he's not getting it because all Santa cares about is getting ready for next Christmas as soon as this one is done. And they, they are quite close, and through how busy Santa gets, they don't get to spend much time anymore. So, he becomes um, disenchanted with. Christmas and being an elf so he does things to get himself cursed um, Julian Dennison I don't know he's from New Zealand and I don't think the Australian New Zealand accent really um, aligns himself well um, and I don't like the the kind of teenagery kind of there's no real um, um, kind of um, acting with this it's kind of wooden it kind of reminds me of a of a younger version of sam kinnison just the way he holds his body the comedian sam kinnison if any of you remember him you know friends with bill hicks and stuff like that so kind of adult humor but he's he holds himself in the same kind of don't give a monkey don't care about stuff manner and i know that's what they were going for but it just falls flat for me um kurt russell is brilliant as santa again um and I and I, I I like Derby Camp's kind of energy as Katie Pierce, the same energy from the first film. Um, again, I quite like it. I like I like those two. And Jada uh, Lewis is um, back as um, Teddy Camp, uh, to Teddy Pierce, sorry, and he's only in it briefly um, because the uh, that other boy is in it, um, play, uh, Jack, who's the son of Bob, and. What happens is they, the beginning has somehow managed to get to Santa's village somehow, and and I just I just don't get it. I mean, the 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 Buznickel. I like Buznickel as a character and how they they um, used the history of of um, Christianity um, and um, history of other Christmas. Um, folklore and stuff in this movie but I just don't like the acting from Julian Dennison it's 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 really kind of it, off I know he's supposed to be a moody teenager but there's something about the New Zealand accent that just doesn't fit the tone of the movie it just feels oh and I don't know I like um, Goldie Horn. she's kind of the one thing I don't like about this movie is is um that Mrs. Claus takes a shine to Jack and because um Santa already knows Katie, there's kind of one one person for one and one person for another and they, I know they all have to do different things because things happen in the movie that Buzz Nickel does to distract Santa and, and trying to ruin Christmas forever. It's kind of um similar to the first movie, um but it's not. Um and at one point Santa actually um needs to sing again 
to bring up Christmas cheer at one point. So exactly the same as the first movie. Um, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but don't do the same thing twice. And they virtually do with that singing scene. Um, he plays the trumpet again with sunglasses again. You know, almost being arrested again, but with a different character this time in the same sort of scene. They kind of replayed the same scene twice in a different scenario. So, it's, oh no. Um, and I, I just don't buy it. I mean, you know, everything's okay in the end. Um, they go really deep with um, Bethlehem at one point and the history of of Christmas, Santa Claus, uh, which I quite like. Um, but I just don't buy Bosnickel as a character. I just don't like him. I don't like the acting of it, but I like everything else. Um, apart from the replaying of the music scene, which I thought, you know, why do the same thing twice? Um, I... It doesn't feel as good as the first film. I thought the CGI at the very beginning was quite ropey. And that was something I I praised in the first movie that you couldn't really tell. But I don't know whether they rush this movie to get out for um, 18 months. It's kind of two years later and it needed another six months maybe or a few months to get the CGI, CGI completely right like they did with the first movie. But in some of the scenes the cgi was quite noticeable it felt detached from the from the real world whereas that i didn't have that i did not have that criticism from the first christmas chronicles so i think they kind of rushed this a bit um i like goldie horn as a character as mrs claus she is perfect having that kind of warmth motherly um type figure um kurt russell was brilliant as santa claus again giving a fully rounded character <laughs> um Especially when Katie asked him a certain question near the beginning. And he said he never thought of that. So there's marital stuff going on there. It is a fully rounded character again. But Buzz Nickel was either miscast by with Julian Dennison. Or I just I just didn't like it. I didn't I didn't like the, the that elf at all. Not because he's the villain or anything. I just didn't like it. Um, it could have been acted out a lot better. And there was, there's just no... Even though you know, he's torn at certain points, Buznickel, you just don't get that real acting, that real kind of words are coming out of Julian Dennison's mouth, but the facial expressions don't really match the weight of what he's saying. So for that, I have to mark it down a bit. Um, so, yeah, I did enjoy parts of this movie and not others. Um I probably won't rewatch this one as much as I did the first. Um, um, the um, Jezar, um, um, what was it again? Jezar, um, Bronio. Again, it was okay as, as um Jack, but he's ve he's very energetic, and I don't know. It, I mean, there's not many scenes between him and Katie. It's kind of they're off on their own adventures because things happen. I I I didn't buy their chemistry at all. Um I didn't buy the journey. Um I don't know. I I I, I would have preferred it if they kept the original cast and not added someone else to it, but they did. Um I cannot imagine there being a Christmas Chronicles 3 because the people the kids are getting older and trying to bring them back as kind of teenagers would be a stretch and you don't really want to bring in someone new. Because, again, this didn't work with Jazar Bonio that well, I didn't think. Um, so, would I call this movie a failure? No, but it doesn't live up to the original, which which will become a Christmas classic for me um, from now on. So, that's my review of Christmas Chronicles 2. And it is nearly nine minutes long. I'm sorry I kind of witted on a bit, but some things in this movie did annoy me. Um... So I did wet on a bit. If you did like this review, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!